think um, it's an awful situation, um, especially for people that are in pounds and having to put them down. I think it's just, it doesn't make sense to me that um, for some reason we're not able to help all these animals yet. There's breeders out there that just keep bringing animals into the world, yet we can't look after the ones we've got at the moment. And so that we're putting them down, but then people are making money by breeding them at the same time. I think it's just, just doesn't make sense to me really. I think euthanasia should be a last resort for an animal. Um, it's probably not the prime motivating factor. Um, I just think that often people have dogs and the dogs and the people don't suit each other. Uh, and this particular um, process allows us to, to actually choose the owners. The owners and the animals get together and we really try to make sure the owners are compatible with, with the, um, that suit the lifestyle. I remember the first dog that I had wasn't really suited to my lifestyle. I wasn't all that active then uh, and uh, I had a very active dog and that made for a lot of problems. Um, so I think um, while euthanasia is sort of you don't like to see dogs put down uh, as part of the motivation, the other one is to, to rehouse dogs in really suitable um, environments and also um, animals are just, particularly dogs, are just the most wonderful company uh, and I think um, being able to assist people in getting just the right dog uh, and one that has not been puppy farmed is a good idea. So I was just looking at a new dog as a companion and all this sort of stuff. Um, but then when I was just looking on the websites, I saw this one with Moving Paws who they just needed an urgent foster carer for. Um, and didn't really say much about it so I just gave her a call and just, um, just kind of asked what was the go, what, how could I help sort of thing how long it need to be helped for um, and then she sort of kept talking it just seemed to make more sense to me that um, just being able to help animals and you sort of get to see how they go Yeah, there's definitely a bit of a pattern. Um, I, either they just don't suit the um, family, they've been ignored, uh, and um, they've basically ended up in pounds, uh, either escaped or, um, well, they've just been given up to the pound, or in, in the case of sadder uh, instances, older people. So once they go into a, um, um, assisted living or accommodation, they often aren't allowed to take pets with them. So often we get um, pets from older people or people have had to give them up because they really can't look after them. But others we get because they've gone into the pound situation and the pound has looked after them for a while and um, particularly um, in some pounds, particularly in New South Wales, they put the dogs down. So um, because they have so many of the strays and they have to make a choice and so we can step in um, as part of, uh, I'm part of an organisation called Moving Paws and we step in and, and help look after these animals. Having a pet is a very big responsibility. You need to stay home uh, and mind your pet uh, or have someone who can look after it. Um, so I wasn't very keen on owning another pet, but this kind of filled the gap because my daughter then thought, well, if we had a dog every now and again, uh, it would be a good idea. Um, so that's what we ended up doing. We ended up having um, or minding pets for just very short periods of time. And we do get very sad and very attached to them when we leave them uh, or when they leave us and they're rehoused and but we have a fair say on where they go so um, we're happy when they do go because we know that they've gone to good homes we've done all of the homework with regards to that even those that are looking just if you want a dog definitely adopt don't shop so going even to the pet shops even though they look so cute They've come from places which are supporting puppy farms and just the terrible treatment of dogs. So you really want to know where the dogs come from um, and that by being able to adopt them, you're able to 
save one animal. If you're always happy to, um, there's always places out there to help. They're always willing, like wanting volunteers. There's never too many volunteers. Um, just asking around, there might be um, RSPCAs um, around the place. Moving Paws is a fabulous organisation, always looking for foster carers. Um, and there's numerous um, shelters around the place that just any sort of help you can give, whether it's adopting a dog, um, foster caring, or just a donation, anything like that. Yeah, it's hilarious. It was hilarious. He <laughs> broke the neighbour's sprinkler. He just like attacked it like <laughs> properly. Just like we just like run up and chase it, and, like shove his whole face in it, and then run away and then shove it back in. I was like, oh, really? Oh my god! Oh, it's yeah, not it's a, and yeah, then he it didn't. So he had, they had their hose on the lawn. And